for getting things going with this film in early 2007. And it was almost done when I had a few setbacks in post-production, a couple of major accidents that hindered progress really badly and put it to the point where it made better sense to do it over, you know. And during that time when all of that was going on, I was getting all this good music from people to put into the film because, you know, everything I do, I'm going to make sure music is there. As you guys know, that's my background from the beginning. So, you know, even when I venture into something new, I'm going to make sure I try to find a way to bring music with me. Mm -hmm. So this music was sitting here and I was going, you know, I got the setbacks on the visuals with the movie, but the music could go now. I mean, I can't think of anyone that's put out in a, in a, an originally scored, you know, album, you know, with original music dedicated purely to sneakers. This is true. You know, so I felt like I didn't think the artists that gave me all this good music needed to kind of be shelved in a way a label would shelve music for no apparent reason. And I have all the power in the world to put it out. So thus, I decided to put out No You Got Sold the Music, you know, with the same strategy that we discussed earlier, put it out, get the buzz going, get people into the fact that this is part of something else that's coming. So that was my mentality behind putting this out. And this is all about the sneakers. Every song on here, all ten songs, you know, get linked to sneakers in some way, shape, or form. Now, what is what is the this, this special of relationship you have with sneakers? It's, that's been my thing for over 24 years. Always been into kicks. So the, know, even before I was able to buy them on my own. So that would, they would call that obsessive? Well, I mean, it depends on your level. I mean, over <laughs> years, over the years, <laughs> I would say it became obsessive. In the beginning, you know, back in the early days in New York, no matter which five borough, which of the five boroughs you lived in, it was really all about just being fresh. A fresh mm -hmm. pair of kicks was part of the hip-hop uniform. There was none of this foolishness that people do now where they dress from their feet up sometimes, you know, where... They'll buy a pair of shoes just because everyone's talking about them. And then they got nothing in the house to wear with them, so now they got to go shopping for the rest of the outfit just to justify the purchase of the sneakers. That's oh, we're, stupid to oh, me. Or wear with clothes that make no <laughs> yeah, sense to wear, go with wear a whole bunch of stuff that, you know, they know they they or they think works for them. You know, like I saw a guy tonight, you know, on my way over here, I was, you know. You need to about me, though, right? I'm, I'm, I'm looking all right. Though. Am I looking all right? Am I looking okay? You're doing okay. Okay, let me look at you. You're doing okay. You're doing okay. All right, you can let me shine. You can let me shine. You can let me shine. Let me shine a little bit. We're not going to let you shine. We're not going to let you shine. Let me shine a little bit. 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 Let me shine a little <laughs> That's I tell you, Deion Sanders. He hates Deion Sanders. I do not. <laughs> so the guy at Dunkin' Donuts. The guy at Dunkin' Donuts had on a pair of copper colored shoes, copper foam posits. A new shoe copper that just came out. Copper colored shoes. Copper colored. They called penny foam posits. Copper colored. New color came out. Nice, nice one. He was wearing a teal coat with some off colored jeans, and I was like, okay, I guess for the sake of just saying that you got the shoes, he wanted the shoes, but. <laughs> You know, certain things just, you know... What is a teal coat? It was some kind of... Yeah, it's some like... like it, it, was, it was some kind like of North green? Face coat. It was looking kind of crazy. But, I mean, you know, to be obsessive, you know, and to be stupid are really two different things. <laughs> you know, I, I say that to make that point. I mean, there was a time when you reach a level where everything that comes out you want it. Sure, there was a time, there was a nice period where, you know, everybody was making good shoes. Reebok, Adidas, Puma, everybody was they making wasn't. good shoes. You know, everyone was. You know, that's not the case anymore. So you can kind of pull back and be more selective on what you want to buy, in my opinion. You know, but, you know, there was a time where, you know, a nice golden age in sneakers, if you will, where every company was making so much good stuff that you just got crazy. 